today we will learn division of rational numbers let us understand this with the help of an example suppose a tailor uses 4 and 1/5 meter of cloth to sew three identical shirts just think if we had to find out how much cloth he took to sew one shirt how will we know this think for a while absolutely right we will divide 4 and 1/5 meter by 3 we can express 4 and 1/5 as 21 by 5 now we will divide 21 by 5 by 3 can you tell how we will do this division think for a while let me tell you the division of rational numbers is done in the same way as division of fractions that is the first number is kept exactly the same and is multiplied by the reciprocal of the second number and you know that to get the reciprocal of a number we interchange its numerator and denominator as we see here 3 can be written as 3 by 1 and to take its reciprocal we interchange 3 and 1 this will give us the reciprocal 1 by 3 now we will multiply 21 by 5 and 1 by 3 to multiply we multiply the numerators that is 21 into 1 is equal to 21 then we multiply the denominators that is 5 into 3 which is equal to 15 and the result is expressed as the product of the numerator 21 divided by the product of the denominator 15 that means we get the result here as 21 by 15 since the hcf of the numerator 21 and the denominator 15 is 3 we can divide both the numbers by 3 so that we get the result 7 by 5 that is the tailor took 7/5 of a meter of cloth to sew one shirt here We also find that the division of two positive rational numbers results in a positive number. So now you know that when dividing a rational number by another rational number, we keep the rational number that is being divided as it is and multiply it by the inverse of the number that is dividing it. A by B divided by C by D is equal to A by B into D by C. Let us understand this with another example. Suppose we have to divide minus twelve by twenty-seven by six by thirty-three. Can you tell how we will do it? Think for a while. Absolutely right. First, we take minus twelve by twenty-seven and multiply it by the reciprocal of six by thirty-three. Here, although we can multiply the numerators and denominators separately, we can also do this in a simpler way. As you can see here, six into minus two is equal to minus twelve. So we will cancel six and write one, and cancel minus twelve and write minus two. Similarly, if we look at twenty-seven and thirty-three, the HCF is three. So we can divide both by three. After dividing twenty-seven by three, we can write nine in its place, and by dividing thirty-three by three, we can write eleven in its place. Now the numbers are small. So it is easy to multiply them. For example, here minus two into eleven is minus twenty-two, and nine into one is nine. Thus, we get minus twenty-two by nine. From this, we understand that the result of the division of a positive rational number and a negative rational number is negative. If we want to divide two negative rational numbers. Like minus eighteen by thirty-three divided by minus nine by eleven, then to get the result, we can use the same method. That is, keeping the first number minus eighteen by thirty-three as it is, and multiplying it by the reciprocal of the second number, minus nine by eleven, eleven by minus nine. Here, minus eighteen is two times of minus nine, so we will cancel minus nine and write one. And instead of minus eighteen, we will write two. Similarly, thirty-three is three times the digit eleven. So we cancel eleven and write one, and cancel thirty-three and write three. From this, we get the result two by three, which is a positive number. Therefore, we can say that the result of the division of two negative numbers is positive. So, what did we learn from this video? While dividing any two rational numbers. The first number is kept exactly the same 
and is multiplied by the reciprocal of the second number. If the sign of the numbers to be divided is the same, the result is positive. But if the sign of the numbers to be divided is different, the result is negative. So now you have learned how to divide rational numbers. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples related to this.